We'll talk about this more when we get out of here, but this is filled with video games. This. All right, all right, the time is now to get my biggest pickup ever. And I know when I say that, you might think that I'm kidding or over-exaggerating, but no, 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 this is quite literally the most amount of video games I've ever picked up at once in my entire life. Recently at a gaming expo, I met a guy who watches the channel and was telling me he actually wants to unload his entire collection, everything he has. And then he started telling me all about the stuff that he has that he wants to sell, and I was looking through each thing, and I'm like, okay, I need about, I'd say 45% of this stuff, if I'm being honest with myself. And I was obviously clear with him and told him all of this, and he was like, dude, listen, I just wanna unload all of it, not pieces of it. Why don't you take all of it? I'll give you a good deal. Keep the 40, 45% or so that you want and flip the rest of it, all good. And this just couldn't be better for me. With that said, I'm absolutely gonna do this. I'm on my way to get the money now. We'll talk in a bit. But why in the world am I at the airport? Well, that's because, long story short, he lives about eight hours away, and he told me, dude, I am taking a trip down to Southern California, to Disneyland. And I was like, dude, I can pick you up from the airport, I can take you to Disneyland. And he was like, why don't I bring all the stuff in my luggage, it's gonna be a lot of luggage, we'll figure out the cost, and then when I pick you up, we can do the exchange here this way. This is a wild ride to get here, but it's happening right now. He's in there somewhere. I think I gotta move my car. <laughs> I, I don't mean to pull the camera out as I walked up, but this genuinely just made me laugh. Oh my gosh, you are so nice. How are you? High five. Nice to meet you. You're so kind. Oh, this, dude, this genuinely made me laugh as I saw you walking up. I'm like, what have we done? Are we insane? Are we insane for doing this? I don't. Okay, great. I, I was like, I don't even know. You know, like I said, we only met a few weeks ago yeah. and now we're this is our this is what life is right now apparently so we'll talk about this more when we get out of here but this oh is filled with video games this all right we're how did you what what happened here tell me this process how did this all get down here it was a lot of packing and it was tough getting through the airport and stuff. <laughs> Come on, siren, stop it. Oh, look. All right, so obviously I trust him and everything that he brought. I can see there's obviously a ton here, but for the sake, we got to look through some, right? Yeah. We have to. Absolutely. Because I could leave and this could be filled with coal. Yeah, I'll take the money and run. Shoplifter! Ooh, let's see. Let's see. Never opened a suitcase before like this. Wow, I just see. Oh, man, this is exciting for me. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what? I don't know. That just makes me, so there's oh, a lot so of- when I when I filled this up with all the games, it was too heavy. It you was over the 50 pounds, so I had to pull a bunch out and scatter it through wow. all the suitcases. So it was 180 pounds of games. What? That's what it is, 180 pounds That's of games? So like, so right here, I see a lot of black box right here. You got Slalom, Hogan's Alley, Perez, Sing, Turn, Frank, Sidebag, oh, Castle Quest, Ultra, ooh. I didn't even see that one in there, to be honest. Well, it's okay. But this done and does not matter to me. Wow. Zelda. Oh, Back to the Future 2 and 3, Ninja Gaiden. It's crazy to me. This is just one suitcase. More. Oh, there's a lot. Ooh, Flying Warriors is a great one, actually, too. Dino Ricky, too. That just reminds me of the old days, man. Yeah, Batman Return of the Joker. So this game went up quite a lot in value. Me and him were talking about that, how years ago. You said you got this for two bucks years ago, right? Yeah. That is crazy to me. But, I mean, it's a great game. It is a fantastic game. I always... I guess I always say I don't mind when games are expensive that are actually good. This is one of those. Uh, Ninja Bros is another uh, pricey one as well. Definitely a game that I feel like you almost never hear people talk about, culture brain game. Not one of the more popular ninja games on the Nintendo. Ooh, there's a couple GameCube games in there too. We're looking at one suitcase and there's so much stuff. Ooh, fantastic right here. Oh boy. Yeah, man. Dude, it's like my brain wants to like pick one game and talk about it, but I can't because there's just so many games here. Oh my gosh. Ooh, two Super Game Boys. I have, what do you call it, the game? Player? Boy, player and CDs, part of that, so you can play all your games You have the that. player and CD? Yeah, it's all in there. 
So. Wow. Wow. Holy Missoula Maguli. Oh, Super C. Well, dude, okay, I loved looking at this first little one. I, we don't have to go through each single one, but I'd love to poke around at the next one, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So this video is not sponsored, but I did want to say, yes, I am going to be, like I said, putting like 65, maybe 60% of those on whatnot. Now, again, this isn't sponsored, but, and I know the app isn't for everybody. That's okay. It doesn't have to be for everybody, but if you want to jump on it with us, just hang out or just have some fun or get your hands on some of these games, I will put down below what date we will be on whatnot, selling most of the stuff, having fun with you guys, goofing around, being idiots as we do. Again, it's not sponsored. This video is not, but I do have a link down below if you want 10 bucks, you can get it for free, blah, blah, blah. I'm not here to sell you on anything. We're here to look at more games. So join us with that date right there, and we're gonna have fun, but let's look at some more, some more games right now. What do we got? What, what's our guess on this big blue, blue baby? I don't remember. You don't know? <gasps> you should know what every game is in here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, so this is one you had to kind of spread out a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, right off the bat, we got some GameCube controllers, which are great controllers. We got some of the three-button Genesis's. Ooh, the satellite. I love the satellite. Oh, boy. Some goodies right there already. Ooh, two of my favorite basketball games of all time right here. Final Fantasy 13.2. Oh, nice, There's dude. The, the book. The yeah, I saw there was a lot of Final Fantasy games in here, too, for the PS1. Oh, that's a 3DS XL? Yeah. Wow, a 3DS XL in there. I'm going to open this one up just for fun. So, I, I love that you bubble wrap this stuff. I appreciate that. Just pulled out one of the things, again, not pulling at everything, but a new Nintendo 3DS XL. Jeez. Looks clean. Oh, dude. Yeah, dude. Never, never. I never it, <laughs> it doesn't. No. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't look like you shuffle. ever used it, man. But you know what? I can't tell you the amount of times I've done that. Where I'm like, I'm gonna buy this, and I have all full real intentions of playing with it, mm -hmm. and then I don't. Like the, the 40 to 45 percent of games that I am keeping, like I'm doing that because. It's a lot of games that I haven't physically played on the actual hardware in a while. And my mm -hmm. brain's like, I want to play those on hardware again. Do I know how long it'll last before I'll get to them? I don't know, we <laughs> never know, but that's the intention, you know? That's awesome. So yeah, man. All right, opening up another compartment in the same suitcase, just to check it out. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. So again, yeah, we have a lot of this bubble wrap. Dude, these, these are actually pretty pricey. Really? Yeah, and I, and I don't really see them in the box like this very often. Yeah. I have two of them loose, but I don't have one in the box. I don't even know if I necessarily need the box, to be honest with you. But, dude, that is awesome. Ooh, Iron Sword in the box. Quack Shot, such a good game. Shadow Dancer? Let's go. Ooh, I love Eastman Video Sticker right there. That's cool. Aladdin. Oh, man. Oh, Blockout, too. Yeah, dude. Target Earth, I think Target Earth is a pretty pricey game as well too, from what I understand, if I remember. I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, dude, yeah. Some box NES games right there, my guy? Uh, also, maybe unpopular opinion, but I think Renegade is an absolutely fantastic game. And every time I tell people that, they're like, Dude, it's one of the worst beat em ups on the NES. No. Like, it's a crappy beat em up. And I'm like, I like it, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. And, and Taito. So, yeah. I have, an, I have another copy of that at home. You do? Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, and, and he did tell me this isn't his entire collection, by the way. It's it's a, obviously a giant part of a collection, but it's not all of his personal collection, which we all know the struggle in this world. So, ooh. This is Mario Paint in a box. Is yeah. Yeah, and also Mario Paint, too, as far as uh, <laughs> prices, these have gone up, too. They're like a hundred bucks or more now. Oh, so perfect. five years ago where they'd be everywhere for like two bucks loose. And then even with that, like 20 bucks, everyone's like, man, who cares? I think I paid like 15 or 20 bucks for that. And that was the standard when you got it. Dude. So. All right, check it out. I'm going to open one up. Ready? Let's see. Ready for this? Da, da, da. I, I have been seeing these around lately and I've really always been interested and when I didn't pick them up, people in the comments were like, dude, you need to pick one of those up. Also, the toy sticker. So again, a lot of NES games on top. Ooh, definitely a good one. I hear Kickle Cubicle, a great little video game. Yo Annoyed, not the best video game, but the first level is actually pretty fun in my opinion. Obviously one of the most fantastic games ever right there. Ooh, 
Great one. Uh, Retro Wolf 88 was just telling Retro Rick in a video that this is a good game. And I don't think, I thought I played it a long time ago, but I actually don't think I played it. RC Pro-Am, debatably the best. Honestly, probably one of my favorite racing games of all time. And it looks like these are your PS1 games. You had, what I saw in your pictures, was a lot of, all the Final Fantasy games, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. You had all the Final Fantasy games, uh, Seven. you got Tactic, Final Fantasy Anthology right there. Again, they're all nicely in bubble wrap, so I don't want to take them out too much. Oh, he might, he might want to take, look at these! <laughs> There's a couple of these. Uh, so I think this would make for a great video of me and Ricky playing this Absolutely. Together. Look at this guy back here. I did test it. They all work. You tested it. Because me and my work? buddy played in the backyard with the you know, grown look, adults. Look at this kid up close. You got to look at him. That's, that, it, that kid's having the time of his life. Let's be real. So these are super sick. I'm gonna be honest, this is one of the items that I definitely don't have room to keep for, but I know people are asking us about these in our last whatnot. So absolutely, this is so cool though, man. Oh, dude, I love it though. They are so cool. All right, maybe I lied. Maybe I will have room for it. <laughs> it would look pretty cool to put the console in there and have it, you pop it up and absolutely. You know, hook it up. Okay. The final frontier, the Mickey Mouse ba bag. What's in it? Hopefully a Mickey game's just sitting on top. Right. What's in it? Mickey Oh, Mouse. wow, that's actually a great reveal. The boxed power pad? Fantastic, dude. I always see people selling just the uh, the box online. Oh, really? Yeah, so to have the power pad in there is great. But a lot of people are always selling just this, man. Dude, that is awesome. Yes, I love the, the branding on this, even though it's so basic. This is a banger and a great game. It's never the same adventure in the 17 worlds of terror of Dracula's curse. And of the Dracula's curse sweepstakes today. Simon's Quest. Simon's Quest, great one. Double Dragon 3 is one of the more played Double Dragons in my house. And I know a lot of people say the difficulty is super hard, but we put so much time into this one. Really? And it's one of those games that unexpectedly, when I hear the music, I get emotional. And it's, but I wasn't, you know, and there's some games where I'm like, I expect it. I'm like, okay, that's gonna have some, this is one of those soundtracks that came on recently. And I was like, wait, like what, what's happening? And I'm like, oh my God, memories, you know? So yeah, this is a good one to see, man. Ooh, talk about good music, Gunsmoker. Double. We were just talking about Cowboys in the Car. That's right. We were. Gunsmoke's a great game. And Double Dragon 2 is a great game as well. Yeah, I saw a couple Kirby's Adventures, two lying around. Uh, also, do love these. Played them quite a bit, man. Wow, dude. Holy cow. And then this stuff is, oh, it looks like a Genesis is in here. A PS1, the, what is it called? PS1? Not many. Uh, yeah, it's a PS1, I believe. Yeah, it and is. Then, and there's a box one in here, too. There's a box one also? Oh, my. Oh, there it is. I see it. Yay. Wow, dude. Dude, this is sick. Oh, ooh, Robocop is great too. Dude, this is so awesome. So something him and I kind of agreed on together too is something I don't like is when people, I've seen it in videos where people buy like a lot of stuff where they're like, oh man, this guy screwed this guy or that guy screwed this guy. It could be vice versa, but we we, we hit it off pretty good. We, we had a great conversation in the car, great conversation before this. Both of us, are very happy and what will you what we can say though is what you did the value on price chart of what all this came out to be yeah it worked out to be just a little over six grand a little bit over six grand yep and though again that we are both i wouldn't be doing this if he wasn't happy he wouldn't and vice versa we made Absolutely. sure that both of us are like cool cool we both feel good so oh my what's that will you open something you're opening something wow wow you really wrap these nice man thank you this not it doesn't even have two hours of gameplay on this system. Really? So and it has the disc. So everything's... Wow, let's see that Game Boy Player logo right there. Wow, dude. So, that is sick, bro. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I just want to say thank you. I, I mean, we met you at the expo. You were a super cool guy. We clicked right away. Uh, it was really cool. It was really cool meeting him. We have a lot of stuff in common. Super into skateboarding, music scene, yep. video games, a whole bunch of jazz. And we're, we're nerds like everyone else in the community. So I appreciate it yeah, for absolutely. real. Uh, my you. pleasure. And I think we'll be seeing you again. We kind of we kind of made a light agreement that we'll go visit him in an upcoming mm -hmm. episode next time we go to Sacramento. Because you got more stuff. I do. Stuff we like to see. We, we love to see it. We love being with the community, man. It's the best. So. Cool. That's it, bro. Right, can, right you right can you pretend to be Gabo and say happiness? Happiness. <laughs> <laughs> and pretend to be Retro Rick and say, for my son. <laughs> for my son. There you go. <laughs> for my son.